Hey everyone, Samantha Hildebrand here. I am a type one diabetic as of February 18th, 2021. And today I want to talk more about the Dexcom Clarity app. I feel like it's been talked about a little bit more on social media lately with other diabetes influencers posting about their Clarity app and how they're learning so much from the Clarity app. So I wanted to walk with you through my past 90 days as a type 1 diabetic and a pregnant type 1 diabetic as of right now and share with you what I have been going through and what I have been learning through my Clarity app. So let's go. So for starters, if you don't already have the Clarity app, you should absolutely download it. You should already have it if you go to an endocrinologist that looks at your Dexcom. It's that thing that they use when you go in and they can see all your numbers. That is what your endocrinologist is looking at to determine your A1C levels, just how you've been doing over the past 30, 60, 90 days. And I actually found out recently, probably at least in the last four months about the Clarity app and how in-depth it gets with the information that we could use to better manage our blood sugars. I was shocked when I really dove deep into it and saw like that I can see, I mean, down to like the smallest amount, I can see how my blood sugars are doing. You know, you can filter it by like the time of day at the time of week, when your blood sugars maybe are dropping more or going higher more or what time of day. It's really, really cool. It's a really, really cool app. And if you take the time to really learn it and mess around with it and just check around for your blood sugar management and see, you might see some trends, which would be very helpful going forward if you're trying to maybe lower your A1C or stay in range more often. The Clarity app is such a great tool for this. And so what it looks like on the phone, and I will add the photos up above here. So I don't have to actually like show you like this because sometimes the light reacts weird, but I will absolutely include the photos here of my Clarity app. So you can see what I have been going through the past 90 days. So as you can see here though, the Clarity app is this green button with like the lines. Go to your iPhone right now or your Android and find the app and open it with me as I'm talking through because we can kind of look together. Obviously our numbers will be completely different because we're two different people with two different diabetes stories. But I wanted to at least kind of walk through what I go through when I'm looking at it to help manage my blood sugar when I'm not meeting with my endocrinologist. Because, you know, most of the times we only meet with them twice a year, three times if we're lucky. And so this is a way for you to manage your blood sugar on your own without that endocrinologist talking to you and explaining things to you. This is a great way to do it. So I'm going to attach right above here my 90-day clarity recap. And one thing I want to mention here, so a lot of things in here can be changed. So your target range can be changed. I think it's automatically set to 70 to 180 because that is what type one diabetics can stay in and be in a healthy range. However, because I am pregnant, mine now says 70 to 140. And that's just because when you're pregnant, they really want you to stay under 140. They even really want you to stay under 120, but <laughs> that's really just really tough. So I sent mine from 70 to 140, and it will measure things for me based on that range. So it might look a little bit different than yours. It really just depends, but the percentages rely on your target range. So for example, if I was 70 to 180, I would have more of a flexible range to get a higher percentage. But now because I have a tighter range, the percentage might vary also. It gets kind of confusing, but this is something you can mess around with too. So if you're like, hey, I kind of want to lower my A1C, maybe try lowering that upper number of that range and say, I'm going to go down to 160 and try to stay in range there and see how that goes, right? Because you want to be 70% range 100% of the time. And so if your range is a little bit lower, maybe it will help you lower your A1C. So for the past 90 days, so it's on here, it says February 21st through May 20th. Those are the past 90 days for me. My average glucose is 102, which is amazing. As a pregnant person, that is the exact number that I want it to be. 102 is absolutely perfect. It says my time and range for the past 90 days is a 92%. Now, that's really, really good. And 
this, I'm not telling you that to brag by any means. I've worked very hard for that number because once again, I'm pregnant and I have to stay in this like tight range. I have worked very hard to be in the nineties and it's not a not easy task to do by any means. I mean, I have given up a lot of food during my pregnancy that I know will spike me. I've done that on purpose because I want to stay in range more often to keep the baby healthy. So keep that in mind when I'm going through this. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to walk through my Clarity app with you so I can share how I get that number and how I'm doing this and how you can absolutely do it too. I am no one special. I have type 1 diabetes just like you do. And you can also be in range 90% of the time, 80% of the time, 70% of the time and have it be under the 140 target range. So it says my standard deviation is 21, which is pretty good too. That means I'm not fluctuating a ton, right? Like I'm staying pretty even, maybe, you know, I'm going up and down a little bit, but the average is 21. I don't know what they're called. MG micro micrograms, <laughs> little milligrams. I don't know, whatever that stands for. That is my standard deviation, which is really good. I don't know what the average is that they want a type one diabetic, but obviously it's so much harder for us to have like a lower number there because we don't have a working pancreas and it's just going to fluctuate, especially if like we're low and then take eat sugar, we're going to go up pretty high and pretty quickly. So, but that's something you can work on too. Is like, okay, how do I lower that number? So I'm not going up and down, up and down and having that blood sugar roller coaster all the time. You can work on your standard deviation number and lowering it as much as possible. And then my GMI is a 5.8%. And so that's basically telling me what they think my A1C would be if they ran it via a blood test of 5.8%, which sometimes that makes me laugh because yes, 5.8 is absolutely an amazing number for a type one diabetic, but for a normal person, that's actually kind of high. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, all the work I put in to get that number, and I'm still only a 5.8%. Eight? Do you know what I mean? It's it's crazy. I'm like, I should be like a 4.8 at this point by how much work I put into this stupid thing, but I'm still just a 5.8%. So <laughs> that's annoying. But anyway, I'm still very proud of myself that I am in a 92% in range, which is hard to do. I mean, you guys know <laughs> it's not easy to do, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. It does stink though, because I, I have given up food, certain foods. And I'm telling you this because I don't want you to just think I'm some like magical person that's eating whatever she wants and still is in 92% in range. That is not the case. I have not had pizza during my pregnancy. And so I am in month eight right now. And so I have not had pizza over the eight past eight months. So take that into account. I have not had that. I don't have oatmeal. I don't have bagels. I don't have anything like starchy carbs like that. I, I really just avoid or anything with like high fat, like pizza, right? Like a lot of carbs, a lot of fat I, I avoid. And I also am avoiding some processed carbs, the ones that are really bad for you, like the ones that have no nutritional value. And I don't eat those either right now. So yes, you can absolutely get a 90% range, but you may have to give up some types of foods that can help you get there. And some people don't agree with that, right? Like let's, they think type one should be able to eat whatever we want, which I, I agree with, like we should, we have insulin for a reason. We should be able to eat whatever we want. But at the same time, I think sometimes giving up these types of foods on occasion are, is a good thing, right? Cause it's only helping our overall health in general. It's helping just our body in general. So it's not, only, it's not just help, helping the pancreas, like it's helping our heart, it's helping our liver, it's helping our gut. And so I think sometimes giving up these foods on occasion can help a lot more. Like instead of eating pizza every single night, maybe have it once a quarter. That's just an option. Obviously you don't have to do that. <laughs> I just think sometimes you know, if you do want to lower your A1C or just be in range more often, then that would be a good option for you. So that is my 90 days, which is wild to me. I still can't get over that 92% range because if I happen to go out of range, I start to freak out. Of course, I mean, I, you guys have to remember, I'm literally carrying a child inside of my stomach. And so it really freaks me out if I go out of range because I know that's not good for her. And so it freaks me out. And so I try really, really hard to keep it in range. But let's go to 30 days now because it does change. So for this one, it's still a 92% in range, as you can see up here. 
my standard deviation actually lowered a little bit. So 20, so that's pretty good. My average glucose 101, and it says my A1C would be a 5.7. So also still very good. And then we can go to the past two weeks. So the past 14 days, you see that here. My average glucose was 104, my standard deviation 21, A1C guesstimate would be 5.8. So as you can see, I've kind of like maintained my blood sugars over the past three months pretty well. And honestly, when I really think about how I've done that, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know other than the fact that I'm eating healthier and I exercise a lot. So I think those are the two main reasons that I have stayed in range most of the time. I think a lot of people underestimate how important walking is. I walk so much. I mean, I walk a minimum of 10,000 steps a day, probably closer to 15,000 a day. I love to walk. It relaxes me. It's good for my mental health. So it's not only good for blood sugars. It's good for so many other things, exercise, mental health, relaxation, but then of course, blood sugars too. It helps for sure. Trust me, if you don't walk that much, start walking because you will see such a difference. And especially if you walk after your meals, you will be mind blown by what happens to your blood sugar management. <laughs> You're, you won't skyrocket as much anymore. You won't you won't stay high, right? Like if you're high and then you go for a walk, you're going to naturally start to trend down. It's just how it works. You have to have insulin on board, at, you know, for the most part for that to work. But still, it's just another really great option for lowering blood sugar and getting back into range. And then also, I eat really healthy. Like I mentioned a few minutes ago, I eat really healthy. And I, I try to do that because I want to stay in range. So yes, I could go eat Process carbs, drink whatever I want, have a bunch of alcohol, eat chips, eat pretzels, eat a bunch of carbs, pizza all the time. And yeah, my blood sugar would not be 90% range. It would definitely not be. But I choose to make healthier decisions. One, for my pancreas, but then also two, for just my overall health. Because I care about that more nowadays, especially because I'm pregnant. But also just because I've learned about health and I've learned about how important it is to do that. So enough about my Clarity app, because I'm sure some of you are angry with me right now for being so in range, because trust me, I, I know how annoying it is when like when that happens. And maybe if you're not at that point, it can be really frustrating, but try to take this with like more motivation than anything. Like, okay, if Samantha can do it, I can do it. Like say things like that, because it is true. You can absolutely do it. And when you use tools like the Clarity app, I feel like it really helps you realize like, oh my gosh, if I'm only 70% in range, right now, like maybe I should try to figure out why that's the case and how I, I can get it better, maybe how I can get it to an 80% and how you can just do a little bit better. The Clarity app is so good for that. So if you go now down to the bottom, which I can't show you, which is why, oh, there we go. <laughs> Click on reports. And then you can see there that there are a ton of reports you can run. You can do patterns. You can do what your dailies look like, daily statistics, hourly statistics, which I actually think the hourly is pretty interesting because you can see if there's a certain time of day that maybe you drop or if there's a certain time of day that you go high. And then think about it like, well, why is that happening? Like, am I not exercising during that time of day? And do I, you know, do I get really tired? Am I eating crappy food at that time of day? For example, a lot of people eat like big meals at dinner. It's just like how it works in society these days. And so maybe your blood sugar goes really high at nighttime a lot because of that. So it's like, okay, well, what can I do differently to fix that? Can I take more insulin next time? Or can I maybe eat a little bit less next time? Or if you're on a pump, I think you guys can register like a little bit more insulin and, you know, a couple hours after you eat your dinner, whatever the case may be, this is where the clarity app can come into play and really, really help with managing your blood sugars and lowering your A1C and staying in range more often. So mess around with those reports, play with it, check it out. You're going to be like shocked how awesome it, it is to look at. The other thing I absolutely love is the goals tab at the bottom. It will give you your like best day, which I think is always fun because then you look back and you're like, ooh, I did really good that day. Like why? <laughs> and I go back sometimes and look and I'm like, why did I do so well that day? Like, was I just like eating at home? Was I cooking at home? Like, did I exercise a lot? Like, what was the reason that I, that I did really well? And for example, it says my best day was Saturday, May 18th, 2024. And which was only a few days ago, actually. And it said I was 93% in range during that day. 
which is awesome, right? And so then you can dive into it. You can dive into it and see how your day was, which is really, really cool. So Dexcom is actually a really great app. I mean, I feel like it has a lot more capabilities than we know of it to be as type 1 diabetics because we were the users of it, right? Like we have it on our body. We just watch it from <laughs> five minutes to five minutes to see what our updates are. But we can really be the users, like really, really be the users and really dive into the data that it's providing to better manage our blood sugars. So if you have any questions about the Clarity app, let me know. I'm not an expert in it by any means. I just have been messing around with it and I think it's super cool. There's also a bunch of people on social media talking about the Clarity app lately. So follow some of them. They are talking about it, sharing their results. And remember, if you are not where you want to be, if you're not in that range that you want to be, that's good for you, you can get better. That is the whole point of the Clarity app is to look at it and be like, oh, I didn't realize that I wasn't doing as well as I thought. Or, you know, if you're maybe your A1C right now is like a seven and you're like, oh, I want it to be a 6.5, go to the Clarity app and figure out what, why maybe it's at seven and how you can get it to a 6.5. So I just think the Clarity app is super awesome. And I wanted to share with you my results as a pregnant person, as a type one diabetic, and share with you that it is possible for you to get 90% range as a type one diabetic, it is super, super possible. Yes, you may have to give up some certain things. You may have to reframe your mindset about food and what's healthy, what's not healthy, and not only think about blood sugars and think about your overall health. Yes, I think those are all very important things. And so you guys can do it, trust me, <laughs> you can do it. If you have questions, let me know. But otherwise, I just wanted to jump on here, talk about the Clarity app this time, and I will, chat with you guys next week in the next episode. Okay. Bye.